Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about this device. This is what is called photoresistor and basically what it does, it uh, changes its resistance in regards of ambiental light. And just one warning, you cannot use this device to uh, measure light. So this is more for general purpose, in order to detect light. So now you can see that I've connected my multimeter uh, with a resistance range of uh, 20 kilo ohms to this uh, photoresistor and we are getting value of uh, 1,48 but if I cover this photoresistor with my hand you are going to see that we are getting much higher value to no conductivity at all and if I remove my hand we are going to get back to old values. So, this photoresistor is heavily affected by light. In this example, we are going to use ESP32 microcontroller in order to get analog readings from this photoresistor. And for that we are going to need, of course, ESP32 microcontroller, some jumping wires, we are going to need this uh, photoresistor and one 5K resistor. With this resistor I am going to create voltage divider. And the actual value of this resistor depends on a model of photoresistor, so it's not always the same. You will have to check model that you are working with. And with my model 5K resistor works the best. So I'm going to plug in this photoresistor in my breadboard. I'm going to plug this resistor now, connect it to the ground, then ground from ESP32 microcontroller to the breadboard. 3.3 volts from microcontroller to breadboard plus then from voltage divider to pin 35 this is one of the pins that we can use uh, for analog reading and another side from photoresistor to 3.3 volts all right okay first thing we are going to create integer light this is for pin general purpose input output none 35 now I'm going to initialize serial monitor with baud rate of 9600 we are going to set pin mode 4 pin light to input because we are going to use it for the readings and it's capital M in here now I am going to create integer result result from the reading and we are going to read with analog read from pin light then I'm going to print out that result and we are going to do that on every half of second okay I'm going to build this code all right I'm going to upload it now all right and let's see what we have now you should be able to see my microcontroller with photoresistor. I'm going to open serial monitor now. And let's see, we are getting some values. Okay, I'm going to cover this photoresistor with my hand right now. And of course we are getting different values. Let's see what we are going to get now. All right, it looks promising. Okay guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you learned something new, something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya!